Here it is. While it's the end of December, our dreams are looking forward to spring and summer and bikinis and beer. Are you looking for a great Sea Ray Sundancer to enjoy the season in? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on Pura Vida. She's a 280 Sea Ray Sundancer, 2006. Has had a lot of recent maintenance done, so she's ready for the next owner. She's loaded with features, windless, four deck cushion, full camper enclosure, radar, and she's well powered with twin Merc Cruiser 4.3 engines, Alpha 1 drives, about 365 hours. She'll sleep five in comfort down below and carry up to eight or nine of your friends and family to enjoy the day out on the water. So come with me here at South Mountain Yachts for a quick preview tour on this boat. Will it be yours or someone else's? Here we are starting off forward starboard on this 2006 280 Sea Ray Sundancer here at South Mountain Yachts. We see we've got a nice plow anchor right there. Forward facing horn with the stainless steel covering on it. Windless right here with foot pedals. We also have the control at the helm for that. Coming down along the side we see this nice fore deck here with that LLI, ladies like it feature. Nice sun pad, which is included with the vessel. We see here, we've got that curved Taylor windshield, which adds a sleek line to the boat. We've got a full camper back enclosure. The eyes and glass and canvas is in excellent condition. And up above, we see we have our Ray Marine dome right there for our Raider. And coming down along the side, we see these two aft pieces right here have screens on them so we can open them up and allow airflow. Here at the transom, we have that extended swim platform right there. Notice the custom decking with the Sea Ray logo right there. Off to port under that hatch, we have a four step boarding ladder. And other features here at the transom include ski tow eye, trunk storage, rod holders, and shower right there. Let's go aboard. This gives us an overview of the cockpit. We enter the vessel through the starboard door right here. We do have gunnel storage right behind there. And then immediately we see we have our transom bench seat right here, which actually folds up to open up the cockpit and give you more space. We've got the removable cocktail table right there and a back-to-back -back chaise lounge right here. This is another LLI, ladies like it feature. They can seat fo facing forward or aft. They can even open this up and, and stretch out. Now over here on the starboard side, we have a nice wet bar. You notice we also have steps to the side. A little tight to walk around, but you can do it if you try. Here at the wet bar, we have storage underneath, sink, and an ice chest right there with our bottle holders and a safety grab rail. Here at the helm, we've got the swivel captain's bucket seat with the thigh rise bolster and that seat swivels so who's ever driving can be part of the group once they stop. Now here at the helm we've got the classic tan dash gel coat to reduce glare makes it easier on the eyes. We've got the classic Sea Ray leather and wood steering wheel, tilt steering, stereo control, touch plate switches right here push button ignition we've got our VHF radio 
more of our switches right here, lights, windlass, horn, etc. We have our Raymarine C70 radar unit right there, chart plotter, depth sounder, and then our classic 4 in 1 C ray gauge is there, tack, miles per hour, port side gauges right here. Facing forward, we see we've got our compass. Nice visibility forward to make docking easier. And then we have our classic center line door right here to access the bow. Step, step up through the window and out to that foredeck. This is going to give us an overview of the cockpit with its seating and then from here let's inspect the engine here we have the engine hatch open for a quick inspection on these Merck Cruiser 4.3 MPI engines we've got about 365 hours on it on them risers and manifolds are neat clean no signs of leakage belts in good condition along with the hoses everything looks neat and clean if you notice the build is nice and dry clean and orderly over here to port we have three batteries with our battery charger batteries were installed 919 and then off on this side we have our vacuum flush system and holding tank now this boat new had an option for a generator this one doesn't so we have a lot of extra storage space there when we're not using our table she stores right there after a quick inspection we can easily drop the hatch and if you notice we did not even have to remove the table or fold up the seat We enter the cabin through this center line sliding door and down a few steps. Immediately to port, we see we have a booth style dinette, which the table can be lowered for yet another small sleeping area. Great place for some kids. Up above, we've got gunnel storage Another port light right there with a stainless steel frame circling forward. We have our forward area, which we currently have set up into a great big bed. It's about seven feet long. You see we've got some hanging lockers, gunnel storage, more port lights with curtains there. Up above, a nice overhead hatch with a sunscreen, mirrored anchor locker, and then as we circle around, we see we've got another locker and we have our flat screen TV. This area becomes a seating area also. So you can sit five people there conveniently. Coming around, we see we have a galley large enough for a weekend. We've got microwave cabinet storage storage at the gunnel right there a nice formed in countertop it's corian with covers so if we need more space we've got more counter space we've got a single burner electric stove right there and then as we pull back down below we see we have more storage, a refrigerator, Sea Ray's big on safety. We've got a stainless steel grab rail right there. The interior of this vessel is well covered with a marine vinyl, so it's nice and padded. We've got about six feet, two and a half inches of headroom. As we move back, 
We have our head right here. This is what I call an LLI, ladies like it feature. We've got a full size mirror so they can see how good they look. Fully lined fiberglass head, easy to care for, easy to clean. Vacu flush system, just like on an airplane, so the vessel remains odor free, neat and clean. We've got a pull out RV style shower, and there's a shower curtain also to prevent oversplash. We do have a macerator discharge, which is currently wired shut. As we circle around, Sea Ray's known for this. Nice little trash area right there. And whoever installed the flooring did a good job. Notice the width of the board is actually matched. That was pieced. As we move aft, we have a nice little changing area here with a privacy curtain. Great place to get in and out of a bathing suit. Our power panel is right here. We have our AC DC power panel along with our stereo six stack CD changer. Right here we have a jack for a phone. And then as we move back, we have a full size mid berth right here. There's our DVD player, mirrored anchor locker. Now this is double wide, easily sleeps too. It's full beam, goes all the way back. And then we see we have a window for light and air back there. This vessel is neat, clean, very well maintained. Check out the specifications. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts. She's ready to go.